Morning guys, down at JJ Customs where every single car they sell is out of the box for you to come down and have a look at and one that has caught my eye this morning is the HPI Savage XS. Anyway guys, let me get it out of the shelf. First thoughts like guys, are we liking that body shell? Anyway, let's get it on the stand. Now it was Jason, the owner of JJ Customs, that drew my attention to the HPI Savage XS for very good reason. This thing is the fastest mini truck on the market at 65 miles an hour. So while I was kind of familiar with the name and the brand, I was not familiar with the speed. Anyway guys, I wanted to zoom in on the side there, show you a bit closer view of the uh, ground clearance on the thing. Rear suspension, I will take the bodywork off in just a second for a better look around, but uh, just a quick scan around the outside of the body. So are we liking the looks of this thing guys? Please give me your first impressions. Has ever anybody out there got one? I would love to hear from you as to how this thing handles, uh, as I would think it's going to be an absolute blast with that 65 mile an hour out of the box top speed there guys. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. And no idea what to expect as this platform is completely new to me, but I'm guessing it's going to be fairly tough to handle that kind of power level generated by the uh, car there, guys. Everything looks fairly well tightly squeezed in, is my first impression uh, of the thing. Now, as you'd expect, quite a few nice features on here. We have got adjustable camber on the suspension and threaded shocks, both front and rear, in terms of adjustability. We've also got that nice impact bumper at the front, which as you imagine you'll need if you get it horribly wrong with this thing at 65 miles an hour. Just zooming in on the front suspension, four wheel drive on this one, boys. Now moving on back, we've got our waterproof receiver box in there, Dean's connector for the battery, more on that in just one second. Rollover hope there for added protection on air. And we've actually got our receiver aerial tucked away there in the middle. Towards the back there, we've got our brushless ESC. And I nearly couldn't find the brushless motor, but there it is tucked away on the left hand side of the car. And on the right hand side of the car, we've got our battery tray, and it will take either a 2S or a 3S pack. That's not a separate battery tray that opens on there, so no 4S power on this, just a maximum single 3S pack uh, in there. And time for a quick scan down the underside of the chassis. Got fairly tough A-arms at the front there. And at the rear as well. Not metal chassis tray on here. We have got just uh, plastic. And it's got to be time for Richie's ubiquitous suspension test. That's about two inches of travel at the front. And it's very well sprung and damped indeed. So what have we got in terms of travel at the rear? Again, about two inches on there. Yeah, I'd say two inches. Suspension wise, again, very nicely damped at the rear. This thing is not going to bottom out in a hurry at all. Anyway guys, let me know your first thoughts on the HPI Savage XS Flux. It looks an absolute pocket rocket to my mind. Cannot quite believe something this size does 65 miles an hour. Promises to be an absolute blast to drive outside. I shall have to ask Jason very nicely if he will let me put a uh, 3S pack and uh, run this up and down the uh, street. As I say, Savage XS Flux and it is down here in stock at JJ Customs where you can come and see it out of the box like every single one of their cars. And they've even got a free rock climbing course in the middle of the store. If you like the look of the HPI Savage Excess Flux, get yourselves down to JJ Customs, where this car and every other one they sell is out of the box, ready for you to take down off the shelf and have a good look around that before making your purchase decision. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.